Hello, and welcome to Mr. Josh to make it you came to. Today, um, I would suggest that both the child and the parent or guardian help them with this. Um, it's going to come out cool, but it's going to take some steps. So firstly, today we're going to be making Poseidon's trident, the god, the, the god of uh, water in the ocean and all that, Poseidon. We're going to make his trident. This is going to be the outline of it. And I just found a coloring sheet online, and I just printed it out. And bada bing bada bam. So you're gonna need that, some cardboard, something to cut, some scissors, um, cardboard, cutter, and some aluminum foil. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna trace this entire thing. Maybe kinda hard though, so it'll come out really rough, but that's fine. It's okay if it comes out rough. Because the main thing is that you're going to need some type of outline when you do decide to actually cut it out. So then you can kind of finish the trace yourself. Just wanted to make sure that you have kind of an outline for how it's going to be. Also, ignore all the flies. Our dad went grilling today and he has been in and out of the house all day. And so because of that, we have a lot of flies in here. So, excuse that. And then if you want to kind of outline it a bit, make it a bit easier to see, you can. Um, and I got cardboard from saving up a lot of Amazon boxes that we have around the house. Um, I kind of would want it to still have some crafts that kind of only depend on things you have at home, not going out and getting. The last one we had involved a couple things, but hopefully here this one you can kind of find around the house. So, firstly, you got that. And that's one you want to make sure. It looks way better than the first one I did. I'll tell you that one. Um, now, you can use this. You can use the you know, cutter. It's really up to you. I'm going to try out the scissors. And if it's not where we're working, I'll do this. And we'll see what happens. Um, but first, you want to cut this out completely. So cut out the outline of the core. Ooh, that was satisfying. what I like may not be what you like. And you can get it for 15% off if you just use my access code. And there we go. <laughs> so there is one. Now of course, if you want to say screw it, I'm doing it. I'm going to call it after that, that's fine. But what I would suggest is um, to do two more of these so that it has a firm, firm background. So what you, you can do, do is either trace it over again and cut it or you, or you can just cut the outline, of, uh, trace the outline of that and cut that. And cut it on two more pieces of cardboard so that you have a firm, firm backbone for it. So we're going to head do that real quick and then we'll be right back. Alright, so now after you head do that, now if you have strong enough scissors or strong enough uh, blade, then what you could do is have three things of cardboard and cut it that way, but that's a lot harder. So you either need to have some seriously strong scissors or blades or just cut it separately like I did. Now you should have three separate tritons like this. So next, what you want to do, oh, I forgot something. Pause that real quick. I forgot them supplies. You truly probably don't even need it, 
Maybe glue would help, or you can just use the foil and skip stuff. But to make sure that these hold together, have some tape so that you can they can stay together a bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to get this side. I'm going to wrap that up. I want to bend them, but I don't know if I want to. So I'm going to do like that. And you want to keep on taping them around like that. You want to do that for all three of the prongs. They may come out a bit bendy, a bit strange. Um, but as long as they're taped together, that is the mission. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so after you've wrapped it around in some tape, it'll look, look kind of nasty, but it's okay. It may just look nasty, that's okay. But anyways, you're gonna get your aluminum foil and you're going to wrap it around everything. Wrap it around everything. Um, now, if you want to do just like one huge wrapping around each one and you can do that, you can. That's what I did, it came out kind of rough. Or you can get individual pot like chunks of foil and wrap it around each section. So we're gonna hit you that. Bam! Look at that beautiful thing right there. Looks a bit rough in places, but hey, it's a beautiful trident. Now, let me show you how my other one looks. Hold on. Now, don't laugh at it. Okay, my little girl. This is what I made before we started. This beautiful beautiful thing right here. Now, if your aluminum foil wrapping skills are better than mine, I implore you to do it. For this base right here, I got some, got a paper towel roll, wrap some of the aluminum foil behind it, so bam. I would make it a bit longer, but we actually don't have too many more of these around the house like at all anyway, um, believe it or not. So, for me, I'll probably have it longer, but this is what it would come out as right here. This right here. It reminds me of Thor's hammer a bit, bit the way I'm holding it. But, bada bean, bada bam. Um, I recommend that you do much better than I did. Because this is the, this is what, what you, this is reality right here. Um, but uh, I wanted to go back to do, do a craft that would only involve things that you would have in your own. You would have aluminum for it, you would have cardboard, because I'm assuming everybody's still buying Amazon or stuff like that, or some kind of boxes. And I assume people would have some paper towels. Um, so yeah, this is how it came out. It looks kind of, um, it looks kind of scary, but hey, so, out of all my creations, Nicole, what rating is this one? What rating is this one? <laughs> like a, you want an honest answer? That's the only answer I want. <laughs> like a three? Out of five, you mean? Out of, probably like a two and a half. So, uh, 
You said what out of five? Like a two out of five. Two, a two point five out of five? Yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, but I once again, I wanted to try to do new things that were in the house. But um, if you have some kind of pole or some old broom you're not using, stick that bad boy in there and you have a trident. For right now, it kind of looks like a, um, not too bad. Oh my God, the longer I look at it, it gets worse. So, you see the bit of brown coming out. Either way though, it's something to get, something to keep you busy. <laughs> it's something to do. Because it requires some cutting and some maneuvering. Nicole's smiling at me right now, just trying not to laugh. Um, but either way, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I just have a lot of fun with it. So, um, if Mr. Josh can barely do it, you can too.